four states. Um, we got third, which was really good for us, and we're happy with that. And state. Oh yeah, we had a really great state meet. Um, we had, I think, 14 swimmers and divers qualify, which was um, really impressive uh, for us. And um, we had a lot of great relay and individual swims, so um, that was really good. We were all really proud of our teammates, and um, we performed very well. And the guys swim team, we started off the season not really knowing what to expect. A lot of new faces. A couple of new seniors came out for the team this year, and two of them ended up qualifying, and one of them ended up swimming on the school record relay that we set this year. And um, we, yeah, we had great swims all year long, and finished with a second place uh, finish in the state meet. Marcus Coolier won swimmer of the meet, and we won five out of 12 races at the state meet. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, yeah, so we'd really like to thank um, our coaches, Ben Raymond, and our assistant coach, Dave Croft, and uh, Mr. Thorak for working so hard to get us um, good pool hours, and, um, and our boosters and parents. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Paul. Yes. Um, which relay did you guys break? Uh, the 200 free record. Nice. Took down Dave Croft, our coach. Nice. <laughs> <Good> <laughs> <job>. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Emily Holiday from the girls ice hockey team. I'm Kelsey Jackson. And I'm Maya Kmar. And so, if you don't know, the girls hockey is merged with Wayne Fleet two years ago, three years ago officially, but we've always had um, a small relationship with them. So um, one of the, I think, best things about the team is being able to meet girls from Wayne Fleet and connecting with them with, throughout the season. Um, our record this year was 5-13, and 13, um, even though it wasn't a really shining record, but we had a few turning points and some memorable games. Um, we had often moments where we came back and one of our best games was against Lewiston and we were down two to four to four. zero. Oh, four to zero. Um, and came back to win six to four. And another great game was near the end of the season, we were playing Gorham. They had never won a game and they were up two to zero going into the third period. And in the last period, we got two goals to tie it. And in the last two minutes, we got two more goals to win the game. Mm -hmm. And we um, have three players that were named for the All-Conference League. Um, Kelsey was one of them with an honorable mention, and Roz Gray-Bauer and Hannah Deneen are on the first team. Um, and Mary-Kate and I, myself played in the Senior All-Star game last Saturday. Um, and one other thing is we were able to form a better relationship with, or I guess, um, with younger girls starting to play ice hockey and with the community. We had a, in December, um, we had an open night for um, girls to come out and skate and um, a lot of middle school girls were there and we were playing hockey and then that was followed by an alumni game. Um, and we also had a really successful spaghetti dinner, which we've had every year since I can remember, so. And we'd like to thank um, Kevin Deneen for all his help this year. Um, he helped some of our practices and helped coach us throughout the season, as well as our coach and our parents and our boosters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Matty Pierce. Uh, Sam Donnelly. I'm Max Gore. I'm Rob West. And uh, we're here tonight in place of the captains, uh, three seniors, Joey Dome, Cam Brown, and Theo Bovey because they all are actually participating in a senior all-star game at SMCC. So that's a great accomplishment. Um, our basketball team ended up going 17-5 and five this year, 14-4 and four in the regular season. Um, as many of you know, we played last Friday for the state championship. Uh, we fell to Camden Hills. It was a great team and we were really happy to get there. Um, and uh, I'd say we showed a lot of growth during the year because um, we were 3-0 and and we played Yarmouth at home. And I don't know if any uh, of the people there were here that night, there that night, but uh, we lost by like 25. They, they really smoked us. But then um, uh, second to last regular season game in the year, we beat them by 20 out there. 
which was awesome. And we were really, really excited going into the playoffs because we knew we had basically, we were pretty close to our full potential. Um, another great uh, sign of our growth, growth was uh, we lost to York twice in the regular season and we only played him twice, but then we beat him in the Western Maine semifinals to be able to play in the Western Maine finals and win that and go to the state tournament. So we, uh, we definitely came together as a team, and uh, I had a great time. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I think it's important to note that without uh, Coach Ray's efforts, um, we would not have gotten to the point that we were at uh, in the position to play for a championship game um, last week um, because his dedication um, to the program is just incredible and the way he um, from our practices to uh, studying film um, and even helping out in the community um, with our Saturday morning program where we uh, teach uh, third, fourth, fifth and sixth grade players basketball. Um, that's a really good way for us to give back and to uh, prepare the next generations of capers, of capers coming up through the program. Um, and so we definitely want to thank Coach Ray for his efforts. Um, our assistant coaches, uh, Coach Aaron Spalding and Coach uh, Mitchell Lett. And uh, finally, we'd like to thank the Boosters and all the fans who showed so much support for us, uh, especially throughout the playoffs. Um, last week, I don't know if you guys saw on TV, but the uh, fan, checks, fan section was incredible. Um, and I think we had, uh, I mean, we must have had half the school there uh, cheering us on, plus parents. So it was just great to see all that support. Uh, yeah, Max pretty much covered, Max and Maddie pretty much covered everything. But we'd also like to thank, as juniors, we'd like to thank Theo, Joey, and Cam for their unbelievable leadership uh, towards us and the team. Without them, I guess, we wouldn't have been as close as we were. And uh, I'd say our team's inspirational moment and was, even though it's kind of hard to say, was the last game and how hard we played and how tough, how tough we played throughout the entire game. And even though they were bigger than us and stronger than us and on paper they were going to beat us by a ton, we continued to fight and beat them back. So, yeah, even though it didn't end out, like we wanted, it was still a great game, and we're proud of how we played. Rob? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you well very much. Said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was great. Thank you. And um, Emily Donovan is also, she's a member of the girls' varsity basketball team, our only senior. Uh, she is the captain, and she's also playing in that senior all-star game this evening. Um, but wanted to, uh, for me to include a couple of their highlights. They finished with a 9-9 record um, with a season highlight with a 37-34 win over Lake Region, who they had lost two weeks before, 46-20. to So that was a, a pivotal game for them. It also helped them um, get into the tournament, and that was their first tournament appearance in 15 years. So um, that, was, that was very impressive, and matter of fact, that was... Fifteen years ago, it was Coach Roberts, the head coach, Chris Roberts. That was the final year that they were in the playoffs. So she was a member of that team, and she's now coaching. So. And didn't um, they lose to the team that actually won the state won championship? The state championship, a very good team from Levitt. So mm -hmm. um, they had a terrific season, a lot to be proud of, and uh, we're certainly proud of them. And just real quickly, I would like to um, just thank our, our boosters. Uh, without them, you know, we couldn't do what we do. Uh, our, our coaching staff. Uh, special thank you to um, our, the senior parents for all their time and effort. Um, obviously, our students, uh, they've really set the tone, especially the senior class, I think. Right from the fall, um, this fan behavior, uh, the sportsmanship on the field, uh, you name it, has really been uh, instrumental and, and, and just very, very impressive. And uh, we're really proud of them and proud to... Uh, Proud to be a caper, and um, even though people say, "What is a caper?" We are very proud to be a caper. <laughs> um, and I would like to just um, acknowledge Ben Berman. I think he really, he's really taken a lead on this. Uh, he's a member of the senior class and uh, was really instrumental in gaining, you know, um, just turning up some spirit and uh, getting everyone excited about the playoffs. And one of his things, if you were watching the game, they had the. Um, T-shirts, they had a whiteout, and they had some T-shirts made, and sort of the Superman logo with a super fan, um, little name on the back. So uh, it was really fun, a lot of fun, and uh, again, thank you for allowing us the opportunity to speak for a few minutes. Thank, thank you, you Jeff, and thank you for 
um, being the glue that holds it all together. I think you are a tremendous asset to uh, the athletic community. And um, having followed the basketball team very closely this year, uh, they were tremendous. They played with so much heart. Um, and it was an inspiration to watch them really achieve to their full potential. Uh, and very proud of all our student athletes. Um, so thank you all for coming tonight and sharing your stories with us. And we'll look forward to seeing you next season. And if you, for those who need to leave and do homework, like Sam Donnelly. <laughs> <laughs> You may uh, be excused. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, so we will move on to new business. Um, consideration to approve the class of 2011 project graduation committee fundraising efforts in the amount of approximately $20,000. Um, we have to have this approved because we have a school board policy that requires approval of all amounts above $20,000. And um, Dave Sherman is here. He's a member of that group, that committee, and he's generously agreed to give us um, a brief overview um, about the project. Thank you for being here, Dave. Uh, my pleasure. I just want to say that the school board meetings are a lot more fun. You guys have sports. Uh, <laughs> don't have anything like that uh, uh, on the town and council. Cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am here, though, as a member of uh, the organizing committee for this year's project graduation. Just very briefly, uh, project graduation, the goal is to provide a safe and fun way for the members of the graduating senior class to celebrate their accomplishments the evening after the graduation ceremony. The event was actually started in the late 70s as a result of a tragedy or tragedies that occurred in the Oxford Hills region in Maine where seven members of the graduating seniors died in alcohol and drug related uh, accidents. The community there uh, uh, gathered together in the wake of that tragedy and tried to figure out a way for seniors to celebrate graduation in a safe way and a fun way and in a way that would include all members of the senior class and over the years since then uh, project graduation has caught on communities across the, the US um, and Cape Elizabeth is no exception this event has proved to be very popular over the last several years and it's up to the parents of each uh, graduating class to organize the event figure out what they believe their children would enjoy doing from the evening after they graduate through the following morning it's a several hour marathon event and not only organize the event to make it fun, but also figure out a way to fund it. And that's why I'm here tonight. The budget for this year's event is a little over $20,000. Uh, we have been very successful uh, in raising those funds. I guess I don't know what we're going to do if you don't approve uh, this. But uh, uh, parents have been very generous in their donations. We've had a few special events. And I'll also make a plug for uh, buying pizza at Freshies. If you buy pizza at Freshies and mention Project Graduation, they'll donate some of the proceeds to our event, which is very generous of them. Uh, anyway, uh, we're just about there in terms of fundraising. Uh, the people on the committee who've done a lot more work on this, including uh, Reed's uh, mother, Dory Dowdy, they, they spent a, a lot of time. Uh, they asked me to come here tonight. I'm not sure why, but in any event, uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to address them. Are there any questions from the board? Thank you, Dave. It was actually uh, the letter that you put out with the question and answers was extremely helpful. You, even though I was a supporter from the beginning of this project, those questions and um, the email that went out recently was extremely helpful. and. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate the work that uh, has gone into this. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Do I have a motion? I have a motion to approve the. Let's see if you have the word in right there. Um, okay. I have a motion to uh, approve move. the consider. Move, thank you, to approve the consideration to approve the class of 2011 Project Graduation Committee fundraisers fundraising efforts in the amount of um, $20,000 according to the board policy DFR fundraising. 
Do I have a second? Second. 